Hi, the next topic is matrix representation. So basically in this course that we express that about regression as matrices. So that's why that this course requires the linear algebra as prerequisite. Okay, so the matrix representation. So uh, it's uh, convenient to deal with linear regression uh, in, with matrix uh, in two ways. The one is the statistical theory becomes simple and the second, the computation gets much faster. Okay, so the, we have defined the yi is equal to a times, okay, so yi is equal to a plus b xi, b times xi plus epsilon i. So we would like to put this, okay, so um, notation, this equation for i is equal to one to n in one equation. So to, for that purpose, we define the y as the vector of y, y sub i's, so y1 to yn, so this is n by one vector. Then we define x. X is sometimes called model matrix or design matrix. So this is, in this case, the n by two. Then we prepare the vector beta. So this is a vector of a and b, so two by one. Then epsilon, epsilon is epsilon one to epsilon n, so this is again n by one. Then we can express this original equation, n equations into just one equation, y is equal to x beta plus epsilon. So this is because, for example, the y one is equal to one plus a, one times a plus x one times b plus epsilon. So that is exactly this equation. Yeah, then um, beta hat. So our objective was to estimate a hat and b hat. So we express this as beta hat. Then beta hat is given by x prime x inverse x prime y. So it's much simpler. So actually just one equation gives both a hat and b hat. And also the form is much simpler than uh, what we have seen in the previous video. So x, uh, sorry, the x uh, transpose, x prime means x transpose. So x transpose is actually two by n because x is n by two, so two by n and n by two. So in x is two by two. So if we take inverse, still two by two. And x transpose is two by n and y is n by one. So we can take the product that is two by one. So two by two matrix times two by one matrix is two by one matrix. So actually, just a pair of two numbers. So then the first component is a hat and the second component is b hat. And why this holds? And actually the proof is also much simpler than um, um, not using the matrix form. So remember that the um, linear regression minimized the summation of epsilon i square. But epsilon i is actually, okay, so, um, Okay, we define the epsilon as a vector epsilon one to epsilon n uh, transposed. So this is actually the epsilon transposed epsilon, right? So that is actually epsilon is equal to y minus x beta. So our form is y is equal to x beta plus epsilon. So epsilon is y minus x beta. So actually, that this quantity, this quantity is equal to this quantity, okay? So with matrix, we don't really need summation symbol and the just x minus, y minus x beta transpose uh, times y minus x beta. Then we wanna maximize, sorry, then we wanna minimize this quantity 
with respect to beta. Okay, so to minimize the natural the strategies, take derivative with respect to beta because, okay, so conceptually, okay, so beta is one dimensional. In actually, beta is two dimensional, but conceptually, okay, so think about just the function, um, maybe z is equal to L of beta, okay? Then at maximizer, okay, so beta hat is maximizer. At this point, the derivative should be zero. So the taking derivative with respect to beta is a natural idea. And but actually the derivative of this L of beta is pretty simple because beta is, so this function is quadratic function of beta. So if you differentiate with respect to beta, for example, for the second term, that just becomes negative x. So derivative. Derivative is just negative x. So it's simple, simple and the actually the to differentiate this entire one factorial. So in general, f times g we differentiate, then this is f prime g plus f g prime. So actually in this case, the both terms are the same. So it simplifies even more and the um, derivative becomes the two times x transpose times y minus x uh, beta. Actually the, we need negative sign here, but anyway, so we have to iterate to zero. So if we solve this with respect to beta, beta hat, then we can just move this term, the x prime times x beta to the other side, then we multiply x, x transpose x inverse uh, from the left-hand side, then we get beta hat is equal to this. So this way that we can prove that the beta hat is x transpose x inverse times x transpose y. So this is very important formula, so memorize it. Yeah, in our language, of course, that we can calculate the using matrix representation. So in the previous video that we regress y on x, so LM y on x, but here we would like to calculate everything from scratch with matrix representation. So y is the vector of y1 to yn. So this is price, this is response variable. And x is vector of one and vector of square footage. So remember that this is exactly one, one, and the x first observation to x 48th observation, right? So this is x. Then you can say, that, okay, so x transpose is t of x in our language. So x transpose x, then inverse, inverse is solved. And x transpose y. So you can get uh, this beta hat. So the first element is a hat and the second element is b hat. So this is exactly the same result as the output of LM function. And lastly, they will explain the epsilon i hat. Okay, so remember that the y is equal to a plus the bx uh, plus epsilon. Um, yep. But a and b are just estimated. Then of course the epsilon is not known, but just we can plug in a hat and b hat. So we should say that this is also epsilon hat. If we plug in true A and B, we can identify epsilon, but the, we only have A hat and B hat. So epsilon is also just estimated number. So epsilon is calculated by the X beta hat minus YI. Or in general, the epsilon hat. So this is the all epsilon one hat to epsilon n hat. So this is uh, given by x beta hat minus y. So these are called residuals. Epsilon i hat is called a residual. Uh, 